Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, good morning. Welcome back. I'm Candace. Well, it's um, our time. It is what today? Wednesday. Yeah. The garbage truck just passed. That's right. It's gar <laughs> it is garbage day. It is garbage day. So, uh, yeah, it's Wednesday. I've already pulled a few orders here. I've got seven things pulled. We'll look at those real fast in a minute. And then I think we have 12 more things after that. It was... Um, yesterday was a good a good sales day not a great sales day uh but it was good in so far as that like just about everything is like super quick to pack i don't know why i was snapping but i was yeah so 12 box knives those, oh yeah those, those are packed ready to go we already got those out too so uh yeah things are looking good uh i'm starting to get a little bit nervous about this garage sale we're gonna have i i don't know have we yeah we have done we have participated in a garage sale once yeah like that was personal stuff it wasn't like like our our business stuff that was that was a long time ago too that was like six years ago i think uh longer than that or seven seven or eight years yeah, yeah. so uh yeah looking forward to uh seeing how that goes oh my gosh you know? i know it's a lot of work and i'm dreading it because i guess we got to go like price everything and a lot of the stuff like we we are selling like a lot of the starting lineups and stuff at the sale a lot of that kind of stuff and cards um a lot of that kind of stuff though is just going to be like a sign on a box saying how much they are a piece oh and movie posters <laughs> oh movie posters we have those too we're going to sell so i mean i it's not i think the pricing is going to be pretty quick it's going to be interesting it'll be fun molly's going to have a little bake sale going on too is she what's she going to make we're, i got stuff to make cookies and muffins okay and then she's gonna have water bottled water bottled water and what else maybe we're we gonna do any kind of like canned drinks or anything like that i don't think so i'm gonna keep it simple okay yeah okay i think of course by the time this video goes out the sale will be over maybe <laughs> i don't know well i mean that that's the that's the way everything is though like we're all like we can't video like the day of or the, the day, day of or like in the future so yeah. that's just the way it is but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get these. What are you working on right now, by the way? I just listed those clear tiki mugs we picked up at that estate sale last weekend. Uh, I had eight of them. Where are they at? They're wrapped up. So where are they at? Um, one, two, oh, these guys. Yeah, so um, I saw where two very recent sales, somebody had sold two of them for 25 to 27 so I listed sets of two sets of four at $40 each set. Okay. So, Sounds they're pretty good. really cool. Alright. Well, we'll look at some cards real quick. This is your Princess Leia card that you auctioned oh, yeah, off. Yeah, we auctioned that. You got 13 something for that. Yeah, it, it seems like lately when we have auctions, like there's a lot of bids in the front end and then no action at the end. Yeah. It's weird. I, I remember auctions used to be opposite. Yeah, so, there's not as much late bidding. No. Maybe it's the stuff we're auctioning too. Could yeah, be. There definitely could be. Uh, sold this Julian Edelman card. It was easy to get a comp for this card. This is, see it's 10 out of 35 right here. Uh, that means there are only 35 like this, like in this color scheme. They have a bunch of different color schemes of this card. Uh, I actually found a comp that was sold comp for this same card, 11 of 35. So this card's brother, basically. Oh, like it probably- it's little brother. It's big brother is 11, this is 10. This one was made first, it's only. Oh. So okay. that was the little brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, this card's little brother then. <laughs> <laughs> sold like not too long ago for twenty dollars. So I'm like, okay, that makes it pretty easy. So I yeah. sold this one for twenty. And we sold another poo holes. Sold a Dwight Gooden. That's a uh, Phil Sims rookie card. And then we sold an Adrian Peterson. And then we also sold some Clinique. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get that stuff packed, and we're gonna take a look at some more stuff that is going out. All right, all the uh, box knife orders and cards and stuff are all packed up and in there. And like I said, we have 12 more things to pull. Candace is listing some shark parts, yeah. shark vacuum. So we had bought- Where a, did we even- We bought a canister vacuum that was in a box, which sold a few days ago. And these parts were in there with it. And um, these go to a shark, completely different brand. 
So I just found the model that they're compatible with, so I'm going to list them together. And you found a sold for this? People sell these used for $25, just this part. So, and I mean, it looks to me like it was maybe used once. It's so clean, you know. Yeah. And then this, I found them on actually Shark's website. So I've got the model numbers and the compatible models and everything. Okay. So I'm putting that in the description. This retail is new for about 10, so I'm going I'm to bundle them together for 30. Okay, nice. That's a little nice little bonus, huh? Yeah, something we weren't expecting. I mean, hell, we paid five dollars for that box of stuff, and the we already saw the other vacuum for fifty. Fifty, and then that'll be that'll make it eighty total yeah. on that box. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's pretty good. Pretty nice little. Uh, what do you call that? What do you come call up. that? No. <laughs> a come up. No. Well, you mean. <laughs> Is that the right way? To no. Say Here in Louisiana, we call that a come up. No. <laughs> it's called lanyap. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh five charlie left we sold a chest statue this is actually not a statue well it is statuesque i guess it's a statue but it's a trophy chest champ 1971 kind of cool uh this sold for 18 dollars 74 plus shipping on top kind of heavy too it's solid metal and five delta we sold this right here, which is a white shoulders gift set. It's got like, it's got cologne spray here, big old bottle of cologne. It's got a small bottle of perfume and some kind of uh, body lotion. And that sold for $24.99 plus ship. Paid $5 for that this past weekend. Then Digimon drawer, we sold a two, I think it's a two pack in here. Yeah, it's a little two two Digimon bundle that sold for $34.99 plus ship. And now we're going down to Hat Box C. C hat. And we sold we finally sold the USNS Gordon hat. Which I thought was kind of cool. It just took probably took about six months or so to sell. Uh, U.S. It's a like a support ship for the Navy, I think. Um, beware, three propellers. is what it says on the back. I don't know why it says that. Uh, this sold for fourteen ninety nine plus shipping on top. I guess it's time for me to deal with this stack of stuff up here. Well, maybe I could take out the middle one. Yeah, I'll just take out the middle one. I'll be all right. Then I can avoid. Messing with this till the next time. Right, I went ahead and turned the camera off and rearranged everything a little bit so I wouldn't have an avalanche later that falls on our head. But I was pulling this Toastmaster uh, griddle, sold for $22.99 plus ship. Only two left to go. Kind of slow, but I mean, we're making a decent amount of profit on these. And two Echo, we sold a. Uh, sewing machine foot pedal control thing uh, and it does work we, we did test this uh, this sold for $14.99 plus ship on 10 alpha we sold our dog jigsaw puzzle sealed this is all the dogs doing yoga on it bought this for a dollar and got $9.99 plus shipping for that four bravo on the right supposedly we have a it's a barbie thing must be on the other side oh, uh oh no actually it's up here i'm glad i looked happened to glance up there probably moved it sometimes i move stuff around trying to get something else out and usually i'll put everything back that time i didn't uh, but yeah, this is a Barbie. What is this, anyways? Barbie with Love Senior Prom Head Vase with Box. This is from the mid 90s and it sold for $39.99 plus shipping on top. An alien drawer over here. We sold a. Looks like a pony. Yeah, it looks like a My Little Pony, but it's a littlest pet shop. 
Lola's Pet Shop Tan Horse, but that does look like a My Little Pony. $7.99 plus shipping for this guy or girl. Then Hat Box A. We sold a Justin Boots hat. It's right on top. This hat sold for $11.99 plus ship. We sold a lace petticoat thing right here for $9.99. And then last thing, alien drawer, we sold these. These are Mark's Warriors of the World trading cards. 138 of them that sold for $49.99 plus shipping on top. So get this stuff packed and let's see what else we get into today. Hey y'all, I wanted to show you I've had th had these and I forgot about them. I got them in a pair of shoes I had bought, but you can pick them up on Amazon. I just looked. You can get two pair for under $10 shipped. And I thought they were cool. Like you can adjust to whatever size your shoe is by just moving this bar. And they just help to give your shoe some shape. Like see how my, like my tongue is all falling in and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, look, yeah, all that. So usually we just stuff it with paper, but just take and shove this little guy down in there. And the, yeah, and it doesn't look crappy. Like they, they can't see the paper coming right. out of here. So. And boom, look, now my tongue is all nice and flat. Yeah. So if, yeah, if you, I mean, I, I probably wouldn't have bought these cause we don't sell shoes that often. Uh, definitely if you're a shoe seller, you should have something like this. I mean, we, we probably sell a pair a week or something, mm -hmm. I would say, something like that. Yeah, but you can pick them up really cheap on Amazon. Just like- Man, you know what really came out good is this man that toe cap really it looks great and look how it still has that sheen to it like we were talking about yeah, the other day i'm gonna show y'all what i use for that because i, I guarantee you if you would have used magic eraser it would have it would look flat right now but right. now it's still glossy so i had we had done a video a while back showing how to do like baking soda and vinegar and you make a paste and you scrub it and that's probably for like Good. And that's the same. That's basically the same thing as a uh, magic eraser, right? Because it you're creating like a, um, you're creating an abrasion, an abrasive, an abrasive. Right, but it's more gentle than magic eraser. Magic eraser will take that sheen off. Right. So, okay, so the vinegar and baking soda does work, and it works really well. It's very messy though. So one day, just for the heck of it, um, I took my little um, fingernail Batman brush. Yeah, it's a fingernail brush. It's got really stiff bristles mm -hmm. and i love 409 like i never use it she uses it a lot Bonnie claims it leaves things sticky but i don't find that maybe one the one time he tried it it did i just that. find i just find it leaves like i like using windex on everything windex doesn't work that well but like when it dries up it's just you well, know what i mean windex like this is good for like dust getting dust and off yeah when you have heavy duty grime right 409 and a fingernail brush all i do is I don't spray it directly on there because you don't want to get it get on the, the fabric. Yeah. yeah. So I just spray it on my brush and I do like circle motions. And yeah, they come and out. And it came out so like that. Nice. Yeah. It does, man. Golly. Yeah. I mean, it looks new. That's awesome. Okay. Yep. Cool. How much are you gonna list those for? Forty-five. Well, we pay. We pay five, right? Yeah. These are vintage. They've got like the all rubber mm -hmm. instead of that felt on the bottom. Oh, they're yeah. cool. They're really cool. All right. Oh, they had a, a number written on the bottom too. My 409 lightened it. Um, and I I did try a little alcohol to get it off and it didn't. So I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, I would leave it. I'm not it's gonna, not even a price anyway. It's the size. It's the size of the shoe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So They probably were in a thrift store at some point in their life. I'm probably sure. so. Well, this is fun. I just picked up Molly from band practice. Candace is getting her teeth cleaned. <laughs> we're uh, hardly working today, I guess. But um when i came back i had a message on ebay and uh not really scary because i already i knew what it was as soon as i got it um i'll sh i'll show y'all well y'all can see it here uh basically what happened the our carrier picked up i don't know how many orders it was i think it was about it was a lot today oh today's wednesday so it's not that many but we had a pretty good many orders going out. i think it was a total of 30 including the box knives and um uh, she scanned each one 
but she scanned them all as freaking delivered, which, you know, hey, I mean, I could make, I could definitely see myself making that same mistake. So nothing against her. It's just that now in the past like 10 minutes, I've gotten three messages on, on eBay asking, where's my package? I want a refund. Well, only one of them mentioned a refund. The other ones were just like, what are they talking about? So now I've, I've, I'm crafting a, um, I'm crafting something to send proactively out to everyone else. Let's see what y'all think about this. Hi, thanks so much for your business. When my mail carrier picked up the packages today, instead of scanning it as picked up, she scanned it as delivered by accident. The package is still en route to you and you will see additional scans either tonight or tomorrow. Sorry for any confusion and have a great night, Lonnie. That's what I'm sending out. So I'm gonna go through all of my orders from today that, that went out. It, except for card orders because they didn't get scanned as delivered i don't have to scan those or do those um hmm and my box knife orders too i don't don't know hmm i don't know if i have email addresses for all those people or not so anyway i get to deal with that now if you are watching the uh pickup video we did the other day where we picked this up which i mean this was not a great that's vintage it's well, from 1995 from okay yeah. some people would fight you about that being vintage you know that that's already. over 25 years old some people would still fight you mm, 25 is vintage 100 is antique that doesn't mean they won't argue with you though <laughs> <laughs> some people call it 20 vintage i've seen some people call it 15 years vintage what do y'all call it what, and what is antique 100 100 yeah yeah we we got the 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 thing that i probably shouldn't talk about again that we listed last week was antique from 1919 oh the uh the board game yeah <laughs> the devil's board game yeah. yeah okay so this is a hess um gasoline truck and helicopter they're just little trucks that you buy like at convenience stores and stuff i think they probably sold that at the gas station with a fill-up or something Maybe get so. that for five dollars with a fill-up or something who knows so um i did see somebody sold one what did i say 37 dollars yeah it was new it sealed was sealed it still had the seals on it which I don't even know if ours came with. I don't see where it they might not have. So um, ours definitely was never taken out of the box. We could until, tell until now. <laughs> but now it is. So we're gonna um, we're gonna list it as only taken out of the box for photos. It is battery operated, so it's... we pop some batteries in it. And I'm gonna try to get a picture showing the lights. Yeah, and I told and I I got involved. I was over there editing video, and I saw Candace like He's working like, with Ooh, it. Ooh, lights. Who I, come help? I know I did actually. Like I was at <laughs> I was like editing. A little kid. <laughs> well no, and I was like, ooh, Ken, is she gonna go with the cosmic background? <laughs> <laughs> Jumped up and got it all set up for me. Well that's because I just I, I was just at the part in this video where oh, the cookie jar. you were complimenting how great my cookie jar photo looked. Yeah. And I want you to have that same moment. Yeah, so we're gonna have a flying truck now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but look, turn off the lights. I'm gonna turn off the lights in here. Let's see if we can see it. Okay, go ahead, kill it. Go ahead, kill. Go. Can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that or not. My screen's off. Oh yeah, y'all can see that. Look at that. Isn't it cool? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Okay, so how are you gonna do this? Uh, well, I think this light needs to be on and those off is what I think is gonna be. The and point. then maybe just bump your exposure down a little bit. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. We'll see what it does. All right. Yeah, we'll show y'all the end result. And also, uh, you want to go ahead and close this video up? Yeah. Okay. They probably can't see me. But we're, we're gonna show. We're yeah, they can. You have the light. It's actually kind of <laughs> very glamorous. <laughs> All right. So um, yeah, Candace is gonna try and get some good photos, and we'll put those right here. How'd she do? And then we're gonna tell y'all goodbye because we're after she does that, we're probably about done for the day. Yeah, it's late. So thanks a bunch for watching. We will see y'all again very soon. This is a weird place to. Ooh, this might be good Ouija board lighting. No, I'm uh -oh. kidding. I'm kidding. We're not gonna. No, I'm ready for that thing to sell. Me too. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.